25-year-old judge shot down a motion to allow Louis K. Aloha a second attorney, this one paid for by the city. Jen Beniza explains. <laughs> Judge John Michael Seabright expressed disapproval in federal court today when a motion was raised to allow the city to pay for Louis K. Aloha's attorney. The problem? K. Aloha's current legal fees are already being paid for with federal funds. Taxpayers are footing the bill for Louis K. Aloha's legal fees one way or another. His current lawyer, Rustin Barbie, is being paid for with federal funds. He and his wife, Catherine K. Aloha, qualified for this, claiming they couldn't afford to pay their own legal fees. They both face charges of conspiracy and corruption. On Wednesday, the Honolulu Police Commission gave Kealoha access to city funds. We decided to grant his application for uh, free legal counsel to represent him in the what's known as the mailbox case. Sheehan says the commission decided Kealoha was being prosecuted for acts he allegedly committed while serving as police chief. Judge John Michael Seabright was clearly unhappy in federal court today. Now you got two lawyers that you ain't paying for, right? Taxpayers are paying for, and the judge is like, what's going on? Right? And the judge denied the motion. Seabright ruled that Rust and Barbie will stay on as Kealoha's attorney. And to move forward with the trial as planned. Barbie tells me although Judge Seabright made a ruling today, the issue could be revisited in a couple of weeks when and if funds are available through the city. For now, Louis K. Aloha's trial is set to begin May 13th. We'll follow up and let you know what happens. Back to the desk.